things that we found planting seeds directly onto the seabed is that the germination rates aren't great and also that they can be slightly vulnerable to predation out there too. So what we've done here is we've just set up this very small scale trial seagrass nursery uh, with the aim of investigating ways of improving germination rates using different sediment types. Um, and the idea is that we grow the seeds on to seedling stage and then transplant those seedlings from the nursery onto the seabed. And we're also trialling different growth containers, which would be most efficient that we can transfer directly from the nursery into, onto the seabed, which will then rot away and leave the seagrass behind. And this ranges everything, everywhere between uh, coir matting, right in fact to uh, some mat, special mats that have been made out of human hair. So we'll see how that goes. And by changing the technique that we're planting from planting seeds on the seabed to seedlings on the seabed, uh, hopefully we can make the most of the seeds that we have and this will help us then to restore seagrass at a much larger scale. Mm -hmm.